We have a big problem with his wheelie, with foreskin. Last couple of days, he was complaining that it hurts. Yeah. And that he feels the pain when he's doing we. Mm -hmm. And yesterday at school, he fell over and he squashed it somewhere. Yeah. I've been asking him if it was hurting before he fell over. Yeah. He said yes. He said yes. Yes, okay. Right, let me have a little look at you. Well done. He, he came to me yesterday and told me, Daddy, I have a little problem. Oh. Pull his pants down, look. He's oh. swollen and bigger and getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's slightly up now. Right, over here onto this little <laughs> thing. Here, right, over you come, there's a good boy. All right, then. Oh, that side is worst. Is it uncomfortable? It is hurting. Oh, it's hurting. Yeah, I think he squeezed it somewhere here, or, yeah, or is, is it infection okay. or something? It does look a little bit infected, doesn't it? Yeah. I agree. I'd like just pop his things back up for a moment. That's, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask Dr. Keris to take a little look at him because that's sort of what's well, obviously tender, isn't it? All right, I won't be a moment. Okay. But it looks like bruised at the base of his pee and like really bruised. Really. Like because they said it was really swollen up. Okay. And I thought that doesn't look normal. Right. So. OK, I've got Dr. Harris in to take a look at Philip as well. All right. Right, so what's happened then today? He got that problem with the foreskin. Right, tell us a bit about it. What happened at school then? I was running then. I fell down. You fell down? Yeah. OK. Oh, did you land on someone's leg or someone's knee? Maybe. Right. Yeah, we've got to make you feel a bit better, haven't we? Yeah, what do you reckon? Should we have a little look at you? Are you able to sit down? Right. Can you pull the skin back yourself? Is it going to go back? Show us what you can do. OK. Right, there's some bruising. Just, ah, right, yeah, a little bit. OK. What what year are you in at school, then? What what class are you in? Uh, year one. Year one. So how many teachers have you got? Uh, two. Two. Right, can I have a little look down here, see if we can make it feel a bit better? Yeah. You're a good lad, aren't you? Where is it most sore? It's just all over, isn't it? Uh, and in here. It's a bit swollen, isn't it? OK, you're such a brave boy. OK, did anybody kick you today? Yeah. Who kicked you? Uh, it's OK, you can tell us what, what really happened. happened. It's absolutely fine. Someone kicked me and then I fell over. OK, where did they kick you? Uh, in, this, in this bit? Yeah. Pull your things up, OK. I think you're the bravest year one boy I've seen today, definitely. Oh, definitely. Um, right. I think probably he's been kicked there and that's flared things up a little bit yeah. and, and it's all a bit swollen and that's aggravated the problem. He has got a tight foreskin and mm. he may well benefit from a circumcision at some point, yeah. you know, where they remove the foreskin to allow it a bit easier. I'll do a referral I'll and they a, can discuss yeah. it with you about yeah. whether to do it straight yeah. away, to You've wait and ace. see. You've been ace. Oh, yeah, awesome. such a brave boy. Um, because he's able to pee, we think we probably need to give him some antibiotics to try and help settle that down. He may be more comfortable sitting in the bath, trying to pee in the bath, you know, um, mm -hmm. and things like that. Okay. Is that all right? Thanks for the all right, yeah. I'll leave you in very capable hands. No, okay, OK, thank you. So, Saturday, I um, went for a drink. Went down to Tesco's, went to go buy some more beer. Mm. As I was down there, um, a group of lads ended up chasing me. Right. Uh, I must have done a good five, six miles of proper sprinting, running for my life kind of thing. Um, I've really damaged both my calves, like to the point where I woke up this morning, I couldn't get out of bed. OK, so now tell me about the, it's just the leg. I, I struggle getting standing up, mm. walking around. Yeah. It's just, it feels like constant cramp. OK. Both legs or just one? Both. Right. And whereabouts? Like, on my calf. All along there. Yeah. And y you ran for how f How long do you think you a ran for? A good five, six mile hour running for a good really? couple of hours. And how did you, for a couple of hours? Yeah. Right. We'll have a look at your legs and sort that out. How are you feeling about what happened? I'm paranoid. Mm. Really paranoid. Yeah. Have you been out I, since then? No. I, like, I was, I was going to get bus time. I couldn't even get bus time. I ended up getting a taxi and... Yeah. It's a very st stressful situation to have been in. I think everyone would feel nervous about going out after yeah, something like nervous. that. 
talking about traumatic experiences is really helpful. Mental health and well-being is so important, especially in young men. It's just as important as your physical health. Evidence suggests that young men are most at risk of suicide. So if you are feeling troubled, down, anxious, please come and see your doctor. We're here to help. So your legs and the, the difficulty with your legs, that's easy for me to take care of. It's how we manage the, the kind of the impact of being chased by these people. It's, it's paranoia, like mm. there was someone who knocked at my door today and I wouldn't even go open the door. Right, right. Just because uh, two months ago I ended up getting robbed right. at a knife point. Oh, God. Have you had any support kind of through these incidents that have happened to um, you? I've done, like, therapy before. Mm. I've been on, like, all the antidepressants and stuff like that, which, in my opinion, I don't think they do anything, but... They don't work for everyone, you're right. And if you've been through an awful situation or you're going through an awful situation, they can never take that away from you. I think there's more going on under the surface. We do have a fantastic counsellor here at the surgery and she does talk to you back as well as listen. The first few appointments are about listening and getting to know you, but then after that, it's about talking about how to cope with things and how to manage things better. Uh, so why don't we arrange to see each other in a couple of weeks after, after today and, and make sure that, that side of things is settling and if not, we can think about how we manage that. Yeah, that Let's have a look at your legs. That's what you're really here for, isn't it? <laughs> OK, so... Give me a second. <laughs> no, no, take your time. Right, so if you just lie down on there for us. Is that sore? Yeah. You. It, ah. Yeah, they are very tight, aren't they, your legs? OK. What's happened to these muscles, really? It's just because they're not used to that distance of running, as most muscles aren't. They've become swollen and tender as a result. So, we need yeah. to give you something to reduce all this inflammation down. OK, I'll sort that out. Just come out when you're ready, Simon. I think there's a lot of positive things about you, Simon. I was just thinking about it. You're a young lad, you've been through a lot, you know, it's difficult things to talk about, but, you know, you've talked about them and I think that's really important. Yeah, it's hard to speak to my mum about stuff like that and... Okay. ..cos she'll worry more than me and... But does she get worried as well? Yeah. As mums do, eh? Yeah, and I don't want my mum getting more worried than I am. Yeah, I think that's fair. There's no point putting pressure on her, is there? You're a nice lad, Simon. Oh, don't forget this, this is the key to your legs getting better. Yeah, thank so, you. All right, see you in a bit. There's a lot of different causes for cough. Uh, one of them is an infection. Yeah. Um, can we have a look? I think that'd yeah, be the best thing. Can. So let's check your temperature first whilst you're seated. We'll check your temperature on your oxygen level and then what we'll do is we'll have a listen to your chest. Please. You've got beautiful earrings on. Huh? Well studs. 36.8 temperature, that's fine. This tells us how well you're breathing. So your oxygen level at the moment, 98%, which is very good. And your uh, pulse is 67, which is perfect as well. So what we'll do is we'll pop you on there. Flip up the curtains round. We want to have a listen to your back and I want to have a listen to your front. And if you just take a deep breath in and out through your mouth for me, honey. <sighs> Gonna tap on your chest. That's okay. Can I have a listen to your front as well? Thank you. Do you want to pop up behind the curtain for me, honey? I'm just kind of coping because I lost my husband in end of May. This year? Yes. Oh. And uh, he'd been in hospital before you bring them out. And this time he went in and he didn't come out. So it was Must have been a bit shock. traumatic. Yeah. yeah, it is a shock. Um, he had internal bleeding. And uh, obviously heart failure at the end, of course. It's, it's horrible losing a loved one, it isn't is, it? Yes. Uh, and I think nothing can sort of replace that bond. No. How about how about you in terms of friends and stuff? Are you are you getting out? Well, I do some voluntary work. I've done it for it's up to our twelfth year. Mm -hmm. There's a church thing that has um, babies uh, and mothers and carers come. Uh, Good community, like an hour. A, a huge community, isn't it? Yes, yeah. I worked with a nursery nurse all my life oh, with okay. children, small children. So I've been very fortunate. In terms of your chest, when people are coughing and, and coughing for a long time, I, I want to make sure that we've had a recent chest X-ray just to make sure that... Your hand temple and so on, OK. Yes. So I think let's get a chest X-ray yeah. done. Listening to your chest, I can't 
he has signs of infection. No. no, and your oxygen level was 98%. You know, good, all isn't of that it? is very good. Yes. Yeah, but obviously, good. if you do start bringing up the phlegm that you can see, or yeah. things are getting worse, we want to see you again. Okay. But right now, touch wood, oh, you're, lovely. you're fine, oh, lovely. and I hope it continues that way. Yes, is that okay? Oh, that's brilliant. It's lovely meeting you. I'll pop this on. Do you need any help? No, no, no I'm fine though.